the perfect impartation. The perfect impartation is Jesus Christ's life in any minister. Jesus Christ is the perfect impartation one can get. In ministry, take time to know Jesus Christ very well before you go for impartation. You can even go for Bible college or Bible school, whatever they are teaching about Jesus Christ in truth, in spirit, and in faith. Who would lie to you that apostles and prophets, they don't go to Bible college. Some of you is a must to go. That's when you know how to stand with the doctrine of Jesus Christ and how to separate things. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. As a man who does not need to be ashamed, light to divide the word of truth. So you'll be taught how to divide the word of truth and how to use it. Some of you get a lot of money to go for a certain servant of God whom you have seen that is prospering in the ministry and he has gifts that many people admire and many people are going there. It is now looking as if spiritual gifts can be bought. Some of you are very frustrated in ministry because you have been prayed for many times and it's not working. Take time to know Jesus Christ well, by yourself, first by yourself. If people start to see Jesus Christ in you, like in the Bible, in the book of Acts chapter 11 verse 26, people saw the life of Jesus Christ in the disciples, so they called them Christians. It will be easy for you to receive impartation from any servant of God, whether you are watching him far on TV, from wherever, whatever media you are using, it will be easy for you to receive. And the distance shall not be a barrier to you because the Lord has become a reality in your life. You can receive spiritual gift, uh, any spiritual gift from anyone, any servant of God, as long as Jesus Christ has become the model of your life. The disciples at the school in them, and their school was Jesus Christ himself. For three and a half years, it was a course that the disciples did, and their school was Jesus Christ. The course was Jesus Christ and his actions. So they moved more in theoretical when they were with Jesus Christ, and when he left them, they were more in the actions in the book of Acts, because now they finished their school. Don't embarrass yourself having and adopting a title without its perfect work. Titles are nothing compared to the works. God does not look at titles. God looks at the works that you are doing as a servant of God. Otherwise, you keep on changing spiritual fathers from one to another. When you are prayed for, you think it is not working, you change, you go to another one. You are prayed for from here, you go to another place. You prayed for from that country, from that place, that region, you change to another one. Now you are lasting for titles instead of fighting for you to know Jesus Christ who are, and Jesus Christ opened the door for you. You don't wear titles, you act title. And Jesus Christ showed us the action that was more than any title. And people confirm it when they see Jesus Christ in you. You don't decorate a title with suits from China or color from America or Europe or from your own place. Because you failed school, now you are still in need of a salary, that's when you decide to be a pastor. You don't do that. You decorate your title with God's love and action that speaks of Jesus Christ himself. So, don't be deceived. Don't deceive yourself. Let Jesus, 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 Jesus be in your life, be seen in your life. Be seen in what you do, in the love of God, in the studying of his word, in prayer, in commitment, full commitment to God. Then you see that everything that you are doing shall make sense and it shall be well with you. Love life word with Joseph and Christ. God bless you.